Hi, welcome back to HATV. I'm Paul Malkmus. And I'm Ann Malkmus. You know, many of us have mercury, or lots of mercury actually, in our mouth. And it's a place that um, is such an important area for health, and yet it's one that we don't realize is so important. Every time we chew, if we have a mercury amalgam in our mouth, we are allowing some of the some of the vapor, vapor from the mercury to ex exclude and exude into our mouth. And then, of course, we're swallowing it, and that means it goes all into our body. Mm -hmm. Mercury is one of the most dangerous minerals that are that is in this world. Mm -hmm. And here we have it in our mouth. Yeah, many of us have it. In fact, dentists are still, about 50% of dentists are still putting mercury fillings in people's mouths. It's actually crazy. And we've talked to dentists, and, and some of them are, you know, unsure that there's any validity that there's danger with mercury. But uh, there was one dentist in particular, and we were talking, and he says when he talks with his colleagues, they all say that it's in people's head. But what he's experienced is when somebody's come to him and they've asked to have their mercury removed, and maybe they had headaches before, that their headaches simply go away after they remove the mercury. And when we think about it, that mercury is sitting right under our brain, um, right in the vital part of our body. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we found was that more and more dentists are beginning to validate through the anecdotal testimonies of their patients when they remove the mercury. Mm -hmm. Mercury is not something you can just go to your normal dentist and say, let's just have it gone today. It's important to have safe removal of mercury. Otherwise, you can create more problems than you may already have. But there's many health problems that are so associated closely with the mercury that we have in our mouths. And um, Ann and I, we experienced last year, um, between the two of us, we had over 35 mer mercury amalgam fillings in our mouth. And um, Ann had candida, mm -hmm. and um, she had been trying to get rid of the candida. And uh, you want to talk a little bit about um, what, you, what you learned through the process? Of uh, getting the mercury removed? Mm -hmm. And the candida. And, how, and the candida. What, what's the association? Candida is something that you can get for various different reasons, but I had a test done and I, it identified that a high, I had several high levels of, of um, heavy metals. One of them was mercury. And so we did some research, we investigated, we went to certain dentists who are considered biologic dentists. That means that they recognize the importance of removing it and they know how to remove it safely. Mm -hmm. And so in the process, we learned that candida is actually something that is protecting my body. If you don't know what candida is, it's an actual bacteria that overwhelms your body. In my case, it's considered systemic. It's in my bloodstream. And it can cause so many, many numerous different symptoms. However, it's protecting our body from those terrible, terrible heavy metals, in this case, mercury. So that's why I cannot get rid of it, because it's becoming my friend. <laughs> no matter how many times she tried to get rid of the candida and went on special diet um, programs to try to get rid of the candida, the um, candida would never go away. And we finally found a dentist that told us that until you get rid of the mercury, the toxicity in the body, that the candida would never go away because the candida was protecting the body from the mercury. Mm -hmm. And that was quite enlightening to us. It was. Mm -hmm. But it made us realize that we needed to get rid of the mercury. And so that's what we did. We did in about a day and a half. Mm -hmm. Now, we said it's important to do it right, and there's several things that the dentist did for us that we want to make sure that you're aware of so that if you're considering the removal of mercury that you follow something similar to that. Well, the first thing he did is he sent us a package of supplements. And one of those supplements he gave to us was something called chlorella. And chlorella is instrumental in removing heavy metals and mercury in particular from your body. Mm -hmm. Um, he also gave us some homeopathics that helped to cleanse the kidney and the liver so that the, the both of those organs were functioning properly. So if any of the mercury um, happened to get into the body, that the body would be able to move it on out. Mm -hmm. And so it really enhanced that. And we also got some high doses of vitamin C, for mm -hmm. again, for immune support. Mm -hmm. And we, I think we had garlic as well. Oh, lots of garlic. Yeah, I think he put us on a lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. um, so there were several things that we did for a week, 10 days, mm -hmm. before we even went there. And um, then after we went there, um, he did several things to us through the procedure. Um, one was to put us on oxygen. And so he wanted the oxygen there so that we weren't breathing any of the fumes or any potential fumes coming from the removal of the mercury. 
And he also added something called a rubber dam. And it may sound rather strange, but I began to understand once I was in the chair what it meant. And truly, all it means is he's able to incorporate something in our mouths so that it will make sure that not even a single piece of mercury will be swallowed by us. Mm -hmm. That's really what a rubber dam is for. Yes. And um, he also used ozone through the procedure. So he, he had ozone in the room blowing actually right on us um, to help purify the air. But he also used ozone within the mouth to help to kill anything that was going on in, inside the mouth as well. He taught us that our mouth is actually created with four quadrants. And the optimal way to remove any of these mercury fillings is through quadrants. He even knew which quadrants were supposed to be removed at what time. I mean, in terms of which, which one comes first. So he did all this in anticipation of knowing that we were going to have them all removed in a very brief time. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody's taking a little more time to remove their mercury fillings, they want to do it one quadrant at a time. And so he was telling us that we didn't want to cross quadrants, that we needed to do one quadrant before we did the next one. What we found was that, though it wasn't always fun being in a dentist chair, that through this last several months that these mercuries have been removed from our body, we actually have found some significant physical improvements in our bodies that even a diet alone would not have been able to give to us. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, almost immediately there was clarity of mind. Um, vision came back. In fact, Anne, when we walked into the house after coming back, she looked in, around the house and she goes, it's almost like somebody lifted the shades mm -hmm. because the house was even brighter than it was before. It was just like there was more clarity. So there's a number of things that we noticed almost immediately from having the mercury fillings removed. We can only imagine what our bodies must be feeling now that they're not having to fight that mercury mm -hmm. every time we breathe, swallow, chew. Yeah. And, and since we've had this done, and there's been a lot of discussion around mercury, and when we talk sometimes we share our experience, and we've had many people come up to us and share similar experiences. In fact, there was one guy that was telling us that uh, he had tremors. And he sat down in the dentist chair, he had tremors, they removed the mercury, and it was actually mercury over the top of a um, root canal. Mm -hmm. They removed that, um, that mercury, and his tremor stopped almost immediately sitting in the chair, which is um, amazing. But the dentist told us that the mercury over the top of a root canal was probably the most dangerous thing that anybody could do. And I had one of those, mm -hmm. and so he did remove it. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's an important topic. We've, we've run across people talking about, you know, they couldn't get rid of their cancers or they couldn't get rid of some of their physical problems. And it wasn't MS, I believe, is, is closely associated with um, mercury toxicity. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that we really need to be careful of and understand. So and if you find that you have just a certain amount of health that you've been able to gain by changing your diet, but you haven't been able to get to the next step of health, mm -hmm. perhaps that's something you'd, you might want to look into, and that is the health of your mouth. Yeah. And if you go to the dentist, don't let them put any mercury in your mouth. Absolutely none. Mm -hmm. And a biologic dentist is something you may want to look at. Do some, in, do some research, look on the internet, and then make sure you ask the right questions. Hope this has been of interest to you. This is AM and PM on HATV. We'll see you next time.